10 million. I want you to visualize 10 million. If you had to count to 10 million, it would take you 230 days, day and night, no breaks, no meals. 10 million people, hand in hand, in a single file line, would stretch from Los Angeles to New York, New York to Toronto, Toronto to Vancouver, and Vancouver back to Los Angeles again. Those are fun stats, but the best one is 10 million teachers Integrating technology affect 300 million students around the world. So about 20 years ago, when um, technology was just being introduced into the schools, some thought leaders at Intel, led by Craig Barrett, who was the CEO at the time and a former educator, realized that teachers may not have the skills and the knowledge of how to use that technology how to harness that technology, the power of that technology, to improve teaching and learning. So they decided to take that challenge head on, and they had a program created called Intel Teach to the Future. This program consisted of a teacher professional development course that helped teachers integrate technology into their curriculum to improve teaching and learning. So about a month ago, I was doing some early spring cleaning, and I was a classroom teacher for 15 years. So you can imagine I have still many precious mementos that I have kept. And as I was going through them, I found something. I found this. This is my certificate from the very first Intel course ever taught. And there were about 20 of us in that class. That class changed my teaching. And I felt passionate about helping other teachers learn how to integrate technology and transform their classroom and, frankly, change their students' lives. So from the first few Intel courses that were taught, the teachers there became the trainers. This was a train-the-trainer model. And they went back to their schools and to their districts. They trained teachers there. Some of them got chosen to travel to other states as the program expanded and, and teach teachers there. A few had the opportunity to go overseas as, we, as the program was deployed in, in different countries. And a few of them had the opportunity to write curriculum for future courses. And as somebody who actually went through every one of those steps, and now as the global K-12 education manager, I gotta tell you, the journey has been amazing. The program now is called, it's known as Intel Teach, and it's a series of courses that uh, teachers can take either online or face-to-face, -face, and they're facilitated by either current classroom teachers or former classroom teachers. The courses range in everything from helping the teacher who's new to technology understand how technology can improve their productivity to advanced technology integration courses that focus on not just the technology because it's, it's as much about the pedagogy as about the technology, but focus on like student-centered learning and topics such as project-based approaches, formative and summative assessment, uh, collaboration in a digital classroom, understanding how to analyze data, all things that help improve 21st century skills in students. Those skills such as, uh, as uh, creativity, as critical thinking, problem solving, collaboration, digital literacy, communication. The courses now, or the portfolio actually, consists of over 13 courses, localized into 34 languages, and we have trained over 10 million teachers in over 70 countries around the world. So a number of years ago, we were traveling out to a rural school in India, a couple hours outside of the city, driving on a very dusty, dirty road, and we get out to this school. And at the school is the teacher, and the students, the principal, the mayor, town council folks, whole array of people and they couldn't wait to tell us their story. We uh, go into the school, they are so proud, they take us into the computer lab, and it consisted of seven mismatched computers, but they were all connected to the internet. 
The teacher told us when she designed her unit, when she took the course and designed her unit, she wanted something that her kids could focus on that had to do with the community. And one of the issues in their community is that the disease rate was higher there than in the surrounding towns. So she said, this is what I wanted my kids to focus on. So they got on the internet, they did their research, they went out into the community, they did experiments, they talked to people, and they realized that part of the sewage system, when it rained heavy, which in India it tends to do on occasion, overflowed into the local pond. Well, that's a pond that the animals drank from and the people washed in. So these kids got back online, they, they you know, research, what can we do about this? They, they got in touch with experts beyond their village and they came up with a plan. They presented this plan to the mayor and the town council folks who were vastly impressed. These kids were 12 to 16 years old. And uh, the mayor was so impressed that he found the money and they implemented the changes that these kids had suggested. So these kids continued to track the disease rate over the, the next year, year and a half and they found that the disease rate fell. Think of the impact these kids and that teacher had on this community. And yes, we did hear that the mayor did get reelected. <laughs> you know, that's just one of hundreds of stories. There's a teacher in Arizona who designed a technology-infused unit for her learning disabled students so that they became experts in the Holocaust and genocide. They put on an event that 750 community members attended. They collected money at that event and sent it to an orphanage in Uganda. The teacher in Pakistan who knew, who understands that the literacy rate for women is one of the lowest in the world for the women in Pakistan. She wanted her kids to do something about it. These kids use technology to analyze and research. They came up with a four session course on money management that they actually went and taught to these women because these women didn't know how to handle their money and they were being cheated by the shopkeepers, keepers. Not anymore. Those are just a couple things, couple stories that showcase what kids and teachers can do with technology. It is pretty amazing. You know, technology is all around us ubiquitous in our work, our home, the grocery store. Not so much in the schools that are filled with digital natives. But teachers are personally vested in doing the best for their kids. They want their students to succeed. They want them to do well. And they know technology is a powerful tool that will allow them to do that. Ongoing professional development like the Intel Teach courses, make the difference between a teacher who's frustrated with technology and one who embraces it to get her kids to analyze information, to collaborate with each other, and to communicate beyond the four walls of the classroom. As one of our teachers in Texas said it best, there will be no 21st century learning without a 21st century teacher. Thank you. Thank you.